Okay, Tom Taylor here again for you, and we're back to Here's That Rainy Day, uh, part two. Okay, now we've already learned basically uh, a lot of the, of the head of this thing, and it does repeat, so... That's as far as uh, as uh, it repeats, okay, of, of what we've done before. Everything that I just played there is from the first section uh, that we've already gone through. Here's where it changes now, because now we're, we're sort of finished. This is the finishing of the song, okay? We're, we're finishing up, so we're on a D minor, G9. Go to a C major seven to a D nine nice sound, isn't it? That one say D nine. That's all about. Okay. This is a D nine, a D thirteen with the ninth in it. So you've got the. Uh, you've got the C there, which is the the seventh of the chord. You've got an E, which is the ninth and the third, F sharp, and the B, the ninth, uh, the thirteenth. And then we're going to go to D7 flat nine. It's a really nice little thing that happens when you, when you have to do a chord and you can make motion inside of it. Listen to this. Ninth, flat nine. So. And we're going to a B minor chord now. But the, the melody note is D. So we're going to use this chord for him. Root, root five, seven, and the third. And to an A7 chord. I'm going to put some motion into this. Watch what I do. So it's 13, sharp five, Perfect fifth, flat five. And the last phrase. Now the melody note here is not a C, it's a B. And on a D7 chord, as we know, that's the 13th. So we're going to do a uh, a D13 flat 9. Okay. Now normally what you would expect to hear here, and indeed what the melody does, is go to the tonic, the G note. But I'm going into my turnaround now. I'm going into, well, or, or the ending. It's actually the ending. 
okay? And I'm going to visit back into those flat keys that this thing has been uh, motoring around through for the whole piece. And so instead of playing a G chord, the tonic chord, I'm going to play the note G, but it's going to be an E flat chord to an A flat chord to a D flat chord to a G flat chord. And then guess what? All we have to do is slide up a half fret and there's the ending chord. In a, minute, in a minute. That's another beautiful chord. Okay. The voices that I use to do that are somewhat, um, eh, they're not used all that often and they're not all that easy to grab. It's a, it's an E flat major nine. So you've got the third there, you've got the ninth, the major seventh, and the root. And the cool thing about th this particular voicing is that you've got the third and the ninth side by side. Hear that? Nice sound. To the A flat, to the G, uh, the D flat, same same uh, same configuration. To the G flat. Another chord here that uses all six strings of the guitar, and there's a different chord tone in every single string. Root, five, major seven, third, thirteen, nine. It's a true major thirteen chord. Okay, so let's just take it through. We got as far as this. And now to the D minor 7, to the G9, to the C major 7, to the D9, B minor 7, A7, minor 11 to the flat 5, uh, D7 flat 5, D7 flat, uh, 13 flat 9, and then this. And that's it. Uh, lots of work in there, I suppose. Listen, if, you, uh, if you're interested in playing this style of guitar, okay, maybe you've got a college audition coming up, college level playing. I did teach this, this sort of material at the college level. I actually wrote uh, a book called A Guitar Player's Workbook, which I used in that course. And it's a chapter, chapter and verse uh, of uh, all things guitar. And there's, there's all sorts of... Uh, uh, homework in it, if you want to call it that. Um, it's a real workbook, okay? If you think you'd like to study with me and, uh, and go through that book, uh, either, as I say, for college prep or just, you know, just to knock your own playing up a notch or two, or you're interested in the chord melody style of playing, which I am, obviously, um, just uh, Facebook me, uh, message me uh, on Facebook. I'm on there, okay? And... Um, and we can connect, and I'll uh, I'll get the material to you, and we can start, and we can do uh, we can do Skype lessons. I'm in uh, lovely Grand Bend, Ontario, Canada, which you're probably not. So um, uh, if you have an interest there, please do get in touch with me, and I've got uh, lots more coming up as well. So thanks for being with me, and uh, have fun with this one. Bye bye.